They say I taste good with milk. Indirectly. They map my figure around, the traces of my shape. Direct your attention to my color. It's covered not in skin, but chopped in with chocolate. The edible arrangement of my face centers its logo, yes. They call me Oreo. You know, black on the outside, but white on the inside. To some, double stuffed with the stuff my people hate me for. So they choose to crunch my esteem into pieces. Nestle left me human. Straight out of factory, they branded me. My people tried to turn me inside out to rid me out of my insides, but how dare you? Outsiders looking in and write your insults and delete me out of my name and into an object. I turned out to be a catalyst for what a black person wasn't supposed to be, a cookie. But indeed, my ancestors came in packages too. Packages thrown into fielded factories to be manufactured to please the tongues of masters, Timmy or Tommy. Dipped in the milk of prejudices, racism, we tasted so good while we work, but disgusting to look at and hear. Black people hate me for sounding so good. They say my tongue is tainted and tastes like Becky and Caitlin, because apparently it's proper to speak in proper English. I'm sorry. That diction came from dictionaries. I guess Webster was bullied as a child, too. We so embody the bodies of lost somebodies. We find bodies in the ghetto mentality. I'm forced to lose my character and become one. Barbie <laughs> Queen or Shanae Say, say, I earn my black pass this way. Way. Are you kidding me? They'd rather ride in black caskets and be outcasted back into stereotypes and statistics. They'd rather be Jordan than cross the Jordan. Oh, and baskets. We say spirituals and place them overhead to keep God on our minds, but they'd rather throw basketballs in them. Maybe that's why I sucked at basketball. Maybe that's why they call me a white girl or a cookie. To crunch, chew, then swallow their jealousy and insecurities of me. But I lingered in their tracheas. I echoed my way to pipe down demons. Oh, to the lost oh, of Bella. They long to speak. But the demon lashed back and snapped vibrations of lingo that shame me of. You're not black enough. Why do you act so white? You are a confused black girl. They mimic my oh my goshes. Raining on my happiness as they stuff in the puddles of my identity crisis in their ignorant goulashes. I thought acting a color was impossible. But if I started acting orange, then I guess purple would start hating on me too. <laughs> We are a population that is still separated within our own races. Erase it and accept me for what I am. For anyone trying to prove themselves to themselves, within themselves, or within their own culture, stop trying. I did a long time ago. It's time to get up and get out and show out. And for the ones who still dare to compare me to an Oreo or a Chips Ahoy or a vanilla wafer, I hope this poem leaves a bad taste in your mouth. <laughs>